Hi traders, I'm going to finish my first uh, day of the week up $12,000. There's several of trades here. Let's quickly go through them. Uh, first one and the biggest winner is Airbnb. Now let's take a look at Airbnb. Airbnb started with a gap down. That's what caught my attention pre-market time. And then it came down. No way you can join a stock that's just coming down like that. And then you wait for a pullback and then you look for a nice technical reversal. At that point over here, I decided right under the hole number 131 that it looks like a good short. And then it came down, went sideways for a while and then came down once more. At that point, I really felt like it's gonna come down strong. And that's why I, when I added, in fact, I doubled my size. However, there was a problem here. Look at the spike down, it came down very quickly and my feel was not that good. It happens every once in a while. So the stock came down and my feel was kind of average somewhere around here and then it bounced back up and for like 10-15 minutes I was in between red and green although I should have had I should have been in green based on my first trade but when I added my average trade became well a bit risky and now I've got double size if the stock is going to move higher I'm going to get a very unpleasant loser but if it's going to come down it's going to be a fantastic winner which I'm happy, very happy to announce it was. So just take a look at how it came down and that's why I've got this absolutely amazing winner. Well, a bit of a luck also. Uh, that was maybe a bad luck, but the end result was uh, quite okay with Air Airbnb. So that was my best trade for the day. Now let's go to BABA. That was another trade today and that worked out fine too. In fact, I had two trades in BABA. Uh, Baba started with a gap down today and then tried to move higher which is exactly what I love to see because then it takes out the buyers you won't see the buyers out of the game and then you take the reversal and then you expect a gap and go I shorted it right over here just under 260 I love whole numbers because there's a lot of buyers at whole numbers you wait for a whole numbers for, for the stock to come down under a whole number 260 in this case and then you expect a big move and look at this big move I've got here so I took my partial somewhere over here, left a small size in BABA, then it moved back up and then I had another trade here under 258.70. Uh, so that was my second entry, a nice technical formation and again a reversal and enough for a second uh, green trade in BABA. It's not a huge winner but uh, um, worked out very well for me. Uh, let's talk about some of my losers. First one would be mRNA here. So mRNA was coming down but it was still in green territory and I watched some, some other stocks from the same uh, sector and they were moving up when mRNA decided that it wants to move higher. So right here at 160.85 I went long and well you can see that definitely did not work out. Uh, mRNA was coming down I th but it was still in green and it looked to me like it's gonna start moving higher. It had a second higher high here uh, and the support here so I thought well this could be the lowest point of mRNA. I took a risk here and my stop was right over here under 159.50 I moved out and look at this breakdown amazing breakdown. I'll tell you something very interesting here. I thought that it's, it's very likely to, to have a breakdown and I really thought whether I should trade it or not but that was my last trade in fact mRNA was my last trade today and that took me down from around $18,000 in profit to $12,000 in profit and at that point although I really felt like it's going to come down and look at how it did come down amazingly well at that point I did not want to take the, the trade. Uh, the reason for that is very important and, and that's something you should reflect on. You know when you're having a losing trade the first thing that comes into your mind is how I'm going to turn this losing trade to a green trade. Some people would average down their losing trades. I never do that. If you look back at Airbnb, I did not add to a losing trade. I added to a winning trade. There's a huge difference between that. You don't average down your losses. Never ever don't do that because you can seriously wipe, wipe out your account. So in this case I was thinking well I mean everybody's thinking this way not just me. You've got a fantastic looking trade. The trade seems like amazingly well for short but I won't trade it. Why? Because earlier I had a losing trade. It's not that I keep this rule 100% of the time. I'm human. I do take it every once in a while but you know I was at a point where if I would take another trade I could be close to zero or maybe even red if I if I would let's say add to this trade for some reason or whatever. So when you have a losing trade since you know that the first thing that comes into your mind is how am I going to go back to green with this trade or with your account then you know that you're a bit biased. You know that you shouldn't take the risk 
because maybe it's just your mind playing tricks on you. I'm not joking, this is seriously important. Think about it the next time you have a loser, a losing trade and then you think about maybe I should have just another trade in this symbol. Just because now I finally got to understand what it's about to do. <laughs> you know, you never really understand the market or understand the stocks that you're trading. Be a little bit more humble with that if that happens to you and normally stay away. If you're very experienced, well, I do it sometimes. I did not do it today. I had another losing trade in uh, NEO. That was a gap down that was supposed to continue coming down. So it moved higher. I took a nice reversal point, but it then moved over the highs and took me out. Later it came down. So sometimes it's all about timing. Sometimes you're right, but you're losing money. And that's because the timing was wrong. And uh, NEO just did not work out. I had another uh, trade in SPCE uh, that was also a short candidate. Uh, big time down today. And as you can see, I was shorting it right over here after it pulled back up. The right technical formation. I mean, just like Baba, the right technical formation, but not all of them do well. And then it came down and moved out and took me out. I did not reach my target. And in fact, I liked it so much. I added as it came down. So that was a double size. That's why I have a approximately a double loser in SPCE, as you can see here. Anyway, end result is nice. I'm up $12,000. Always like to start my week uh, with a winner. It's not a huge day for me. Uh, it's quite a less than average, really. But uh, anyway, a good start for the week. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you are on YouTube and watching this, please give us a thumb up. It's right here below. And um, it will really help our channel and uh, help uh, YouTube to find more traders like you who are interested in traders. And I hope this has been educational for you. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for joining. Don't forget to subscribe to us. That's another button. button here. Click the bell button so you'll be notified when we have a new video. Thank you for all and I'll see you all tomorrow.